Hi everyone, so now we learned that how we can use flat list with the API data in React Native. And guys, if you are not aware like what is flat list, how we can use it, how it's actually work, then you can watch our previous video, link is given in the description box. Because if I will explain all of these things, then video will be a uh, bit lengthy and that will be the duplicate uh, content with the previous video. So that's why you can watch our previous video. Here I will just discuss like how we can use flat list with the API data and render a list. So we will make a function to call API and there we will set our uh, API data in uh, state. After that we will use flat list to render the data. We need to add some styles and at last we will cover some import important interview questions also. So this is our emulator and there we will write our code. So first of all I will use just use their use effect uh, lifecycle hook so that uh, we can call the API there right. So not actually API we will call inside the use effect, we will just call that API function. So let me just create const API data, get API data, we can say that, get API data and inside this we can just create a constant with the URL. And this is the API URL, right, that you can use. Even this is also given in the description box. So let me just fix this typo. And now, as a string, just store this URL. After that, I am taking a let result because I will reuse this uh, result, right? Otherwise, if you are not reusing it, then you can use it. Just make it constant. After that, let's just simply use their fetch API function and just pass URL there. After that, we don't need to define their method because by default, uh, get method is applied with the fetch function. And as we know, API always return the uh, promise. So what we can do there, we can use async await. And again, I am uh, reusing this function with await and just fetch. Uh, and with await we can simply just say that result and we are converting into the readable format to uh, read stream to json format right and now we can take a constant also oh, and one more thing is so let's just call this function inside the use effect and if you want to check it like this is properly calling or not then you can just uh, make the console.warn and check that this is working properly or not and now let's take const uh, data and set data and we will just iterate them we will just get them from use state by default could be empty array and now let's store set data and store the result inside it and after that let's import the flat list also from the react native like this and uh, now come back there just simply put there flat list like this but we have to use uh, just after checking that if the length is present that means if there is some data then we can just say that just call the flat list otherwise just display nothing there all right and in flat list we have at we have to just pass at least two parameters data that will be the data that we want to render so that we can just simply put the data there after that there is a render item and that will basically create a list there right so what i'm going to do there i will just create a object and a callback function inside it like this and after that we can just create a view let me just close this view also right and we need some text field also there so but i'll just come to that point again but uh, inside the function with the object we have to pass a parameter like item uh, data or uh, whatever you want to put there right and now let's just copy this text to save the time paste it there just change this flat list with the item dot id and it should be rendered there here you can see that data is rendered there all ids are there you can ask like how do you know that we have to put item dot dot id so in item we have the data of all objects first object second object third object and all right 
and we are just putting the dot id then it will just print the uh, data for id so we can use uh, dot title dot body dot user id and all so now let's just uh, uh, let me just uh, decrease the font size once right format we can do that or uh, we can simply put there uh, 18 font size after that item dot title after that again 18 type item dot body and here we have old data so you can see that but we are not able to identify there like uh, where the object of, of first list is starting and where the next uh, one is the starting right so for that let's add some style also so let me add style background color not actually background color border color we can add border bottom color let's say uh, orange border bottom width could be one yeah and we can add some padding also let's say adding padding is 15 pixel perfect so 10 pixel would be fine no? okay great after that let's simply put there uh, background color of the item background color and it could be orange or whatever you want to put right it's not mandatory to just put the that color and uh, now you can see that now you can identify where the list is starting and where the list is ending and all all right so that's all for this part if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment box thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video and please support me by subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section and this is my patreon donation thank you guys